Hi guys, uh, I'm John Bergen. I am a writer for Indie Mag Magazine. Uh, I'm gonna mention some of these because if you're fans of this movie, you'll wanna check these things out. Uh, I am also a part of uh, a thing called IndieCast, which is a podcast about Indiana Jones. So if you don't have enough of the movies, you can listen to them. Uh, and that's been going on for actually 11 years now. And, uh, and also a podcast called the Indiana Jones Minute. And you really have to be a fan for that one because they dissect the movies one minute at a time. Uh, so it's, uh, it's about a half hour per minute and they discuss all things Indiana Jones. It's a pretty interesting thing. Uh, but I have a love for this movie. I've been, I saw this movie uh, in the theater with my parents. In fact, I've seen every Indiana Jones movie in the theater with my parents. Uh, not like this, but when it actually first came out in 1981. And my parents are here, thank you for coming, guys. Uh, and uh, we love the movie, and I, it was, came out at an impressionable age for me. I was 13 years old, and uh, I tried to take my first, one of my first dates to the movie. Uh, her name was Michelle Likens, and she was the pastor's daughter. And, and she's here too. <laughs> <laughs> she's actually not, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> So the pastor told me, yeah, you know, what kind of movie are you taking her to? And I said, well, it's, it's about God. It's got, the, it's got the Ark of the Covenant. And, uh, it's, it's clearly biblical, right? And so he said I could take her, but he went along as a chaperone. And uh, so we enjoyed the movie, but we didn't even get to the car in the parking lot before he pulled me aside and said, how dare you take my daughter to this adventure movie that's full of, you know, crime and cuss, curse words and things. And so, uh, Michelle and I didn't work out. <laughs> but I am here with my wife, Jennifer, uh, Jim Bergen down there. And we like to travel the world and do kind of Indiana Jones type stuff, but we do have a credo that's maybe a little different than Indiana Jones, and that's that we try to leave every area a little better than when we got there. <laughs> so we're not tearing the place up. But um, I work at the Alligator Farm, and um, I've been there almost 20 years now, but our latest exhibit is called Oasis on the Nile. We imported these large Nile crocodiles from Africa, and we've designed the entire thing with an Egyptian theme because the Egyptians worshiped Nile crocodiles. And so uh, I couldn't help myself. I included some movie props, including uh, the staff of Ra is there, and uh, much to my wife's chagrin, I built the life-size version of the Ark of the Covenant in, in our house. And so uh, it's on display there, and of course is our newest snake exhibit. So we'd like to then offer you an opportunity to come by and see the Oasis on the Nile, which has a great Indiana Jones theme. Thank you guys.